YouTube and welcome back to our 64th I think it is Unity 3D tutorial. So last tutorial we made it so we can change pretty much the whole skins of the character. So we've changed the gender, um, larger, smaller, larger, smaller, blah blah. We put it on. We still need to fix where the helmet goes because it will make it bigger, kind of. But yeah, so that all works. But um, if you left halfway through the tutorial because I said what we were just going to do, we did make it so you can change the face and then the eyes and then the skin so yeah so you can put really quick magic character but what I'm going to do now is if you've got a cape active it pops up another menu saying change your cape colour so this is a bit different because the cape if we look at it which is in your prefabs here your cape has there so cape, we're going to rename this to cape inside, no not cape, we'll call it, yeah we'll just keep it cape inside. Um, I'll tell you the reason for that later, because, um, yeah I'll tell you now actually. Um, our bodies have more than one material on here, but the cape only has one, but when we spawn it, it spawns like that. So if we go gameobject.findcape.material, it'll find this and be like, well there's nothing there. But if we tell it to search for cape inside it'll find the material change it and it will be all good so in case you didn't know this is super super easy to do we've done it many many times before so let's just close a couple of these so we've got easy access back down there we go easy access just open that last one so we can see so here we'll duplicate this character skin don't need that and we'll put this down here so we'll call this cape skins this will be cape skins and chosen cape skin simple yeah scroll down the bottom let's rename this cape skin and select your cape cape skin that should do have we got more in nope that's so they're all fine Let's move this down to 200, 200, 200. Now one thing, well, apart from all this insides, what's wrong is, well, this is going to try and change the skin of a cape, even if the player doesn't have a cape, which isn't very good, that's a big glitch. So to easily fix this, all we do is type if gameobject.find, so we find it for an object, then we'll type cape, because if the outside doesn't there, by default we can assume the inside doesn't exist. Yeah. So we tab all this out so it looks neat. So if game object I find cape does not equal null, then it'll show all this and say right you can change cape now. So simple, right? Let's hope so. Now in here we've got next, select your cape, blah blah blah, that's all fine. Here, chosen cape skin. Chosen right eye skin, right eye skin, right eye skin, right eye skin, right eye skin. Chosen, well we've got cape skins, which just stores all our cape skins, so er, it's that one, no it's that one actually. There, perfect. So that should work now, except this line here, because it's going to try and change rendering material 5, which is not what we want. So if we just type game object dot find cape inside which I explained earlier inside dot renderer dot material dot main texture equals cape skin I'm just wondering if I've spelled that right I'm not sure then we'll just paste this here again and we'll assign our variables and get a test uh, of course we don't need that cape no more but we do need to assign it that's what we need to do to the prefab so that's all done. Don't worry about them areas, that's just bleh. We don't need to worry about them. So, main camera, cape skins, let's assign our cape skins. Uh, when I find it, models, heroes, accessories, cape, cape, cape. So we'll start off with a green cape because our cape defaultly starts off at green. So start off at zero, it'll make more sense. Red and white. That's it. So let's test it. Um, female, next, 
Uh, you can make it like that next. And so we've got no cape. Put a cape on, nothing pops up. Great. Why? So we need to find out, don't we? So if we tick maximize, so we can dump maximize. Click female next, next, cape. Well, it's called spawned back, so no wonder it's not finding it. So, spawned back. But it'll still find cape inside because it only renames the outside. Now it should work. That one, next, next, and nothing, nothing at all. Mm. Why? So let's try again. If spawn back does not equal null, then show that. That should work. Let's try again. Just see what it is spawning at. So it is showing a cape. Have I spotted it right? Yes. Right, we'll try it one more time if it doesn't work. Hmm, I may have to restart. Everything's assigned. Next. There we go. It seemed to work that time. I don't know why. Let's try again. Okay, that's very weird, but it seems to work now. Goodness how, but we can change capes. And the reason we have two black capes is because one of them's got a skull on, but it seems to work now, weirdly. Okay, but yeah, we need to move it up a little bit. So 100, this needs to be 150. Not 250, 150. 150, copy that, paste. Perfect. So next job for us to do is to make a next button to go next and um, because we don't really do any more but we this this is the big features this has got the most on so just next and next changed everything and that's one around as a naked model with a red cape on and a Wonder Woman helmet on because that's not creepy enough yeah so let's make and the next button so our final next button will be in another tutorial but what this will do is you'll type your name and everything like that so let's make a next button copy all this paste it in here and next we can tell it to go in the same positions because as always it's, that's what it needs to be which goes we don't need this here because well they can always go next so paste this here. We don't need this bottom one because there's only one way to go next. There we go. If you want them to be able to go previous through the steps, we'll have to do that in a different tutorial because that will require spawning the things we've destroyed, which is not that easy. But Well, it is easy. It's just more prefabs, but we'll see. Um, so let's go back to our size things. Let's copy all these because we need them all. Don't need anything here. Don't need that, so we can just paste that there. So let's see. Um, let's disable this script. So armor enabled equals false, and then start select. Actually, is it? Yeah, go on. Start select enabled equals true. So we need to enable that when we create the script next tutorial. Camera position equals. Well, if the last one was was not that one. The last one was minus twenty. This is ten. So that's forty. So it should be goes up in 30 so 40 and the character position should be 42 but we might change that we'll put it to 80 so it's one side so all the stats of him are down one side so you can see your character you've created select your cape skin we don't need that no more in fact we don't need a label do we what have we got on this one no label we want to keep it the same roughly so that should be where it was now let's add our player attributes for it so Static var player head armor. Um, now, what ID of armor did we use? So we pretty much need to put them on here. So head armor equals int equals zero. This will be body um, back 
what else do we have? I'm just going to copy these in here just so we know what we're actually typing. Copy all this. We can just delete it in a minute. So we've got head, got back, got, and now we're on to skins. Cape. So back armor, back skin. So let's chop these up into what they were. So back armor, body armor, head armor. So we've got them. Cape skin. So we've got that one. Er, uh, static bar player char skin in equal zero. So we've got that one. And face. We'll change this to body then. Body skin. Face skin. L I skin. R I skin. Reskin and what else we got? That's it. So that's all of them we need to do, which is quite a lot for this one, but it is a big project. So what we can do is come down here and where it says player attributes, paste them all in here. But what we need to do is just like save them. So play head armor equals whatever that is. So we need to assign that head armor. So how many do we have? I should do. So back armor, player back skin, body skin, face skin, LI skin, RI skin, and RI skin again. We don't need it twice. There we go. So that's everything we need to do, except all what's left is to go up top and get these names again. So copy these, come all the way down here, paste it in here, and then just delete what we don't need. So chosen head, chosen back, wait, yeah that's right, chosen body skin, whoa, I've messed up on that one. I'll leave that till next tutorial because I'm losing my head on that one. That's confusing, very very confusing. I don't know why. So yeah, but thanks for watching. See you next time.